Hey everyone, it's me MXX here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I thought let's do something a little different. So I'm going to paint this. I'll just show you. So this here is my little holder. It basically just holds scrapbooking sheets of paper, journal cards, and anything else I want to store for my uh, journal making. Uh, but when I bought it, I got it second hand and it had already been painted, decorated, and it's missing a drawer. Uh, which, this thing needs major help. Basically, the rest of my art corner <laughs> is uh, customised for me and what I like. And this thing is just so out of place. So, I just thought, why not just customise it and paint it and make it look like it's a part. But first, it's time for What's Your Flaws? Today's contestant is the scrapbooking drawer, which is poorly painted, may I add, and the collaging is horrible. Okay, so now you have voice over me. Um, so if I sound a little crappy, it's because I uh, have another cold or flu, so yeah, I don't know. This year's not going well for me at all. Anyway, what you're watching right now is me just taking out all the scrapbooking sheets and emptying all the drawers out so I can get ready to sand uh, the drawer so then I can paint it. So while I was cleaning out the drawers I found this uh, sticker for the Calandra Music Festival shoved in the back there. I don't know how it got there uh, but there's a lot of stickers and stuff wedged in places which was really weird. So now I'm just pulling the scrapbooking sheets off. This was really hard because the person who uh, customized this before me did some scrapbooking sheets and glued it and then glued multiple sheets to this which was really frustrating so I had to like rip one sheet off and then peel another one and it was just so frustrating so I eventually got uh, some of the sheets off as best as possible but uh, there was still some bits stuck to it so I had to end up sanding it a lot but unfortunately I didn't get all of it off Next I was sanding um, all the paper off and sanding it down so I had a surface to paint over but uh, as you can see me sanding I did get a bit where I had like to pick bits off because it came loose so I spent like the next few hours sanding and picking paper off. It was very frustrating. After sanding I just gave my area a quick vacuum and cleaned up all the mess. Next, I'm just putting some newspaper down to protect my surface because I'm a very messy artist and I'm sure I'll get paint some way. Then I'm just going in with some soft iris, which is the paint I'll be using, to just do a whole coat over the whole thing so it's one nice neutral colour. I don't know why I filmed this, but this is me painting really up close for some reason, so enjoy. Now a quick transformation. Wow, doesn't it look so much better? Once that's dry, I'm going ahead with a second coat because there's just a few little bits that I've missed. So while that second coat is drying, I'm going ahead to remove all of the scrapbooking paper from this large drawer. I'm not going to worry about the two smaller drawers because they're missing a drawer, so I'm just going to completely get rid of all of those. So once I peel off all the paper, I'm going to sand it down. Then I'm just going ahead to paint this drawer. Time for another transformation. Wow, I'm getting good at this. Once I did two coats on the drawer and the shelf, I then went ahead and just sketched out my design. So I picked mushrooms and sunflowers for my little designs. I think they're really cute, so I just did it in a red pen because I thought that was easiest to paint over. So for the next bit I moved outside because it was really windy and the paint dried a lot faster which helped. So sorry about the mess underneath my table. So the first thing I did was I painted the mushroom side first. Um, so I'm just using normal acrylic paint and I just went over it um, and then I did a second layer after it dried. Sorry about my head getting in the way all the time. After that I just painted uh, the drawer off camera. Um, because we had visitors and then I'm just going to paint now the sunflowers 
So for them I just used two types of yellows for the petals. Um, I used a normal yellow and an orangey kind of yellow and I thought the two different variants looked really nice on it and then I just did brown for the stem and the middle and then just painted the leaf which I struggled but ended up fixing in the end. So off camera I just fixed a lot of bits up and did a lot of touch ups. So now I'm just going in with my paint pens and I'm just going to highlight areas and add on the small details. For the mushroom side you can't really see it but I added the little bits underneath the mushroom and I just made the stem pop out of more. Now I'm just going to add some more touch ups on the drawers and adding white dots to the tops of the mushrooms on the drawers. Also don't mind Rora in the top corner there, she uh, likes to see what I'm doing, she's a bit of a creative child too. Uh, so then after I do that I just added some little grass to the drawers as well just to make the mushrooms really pop. So once the paint all dries I just remove the drawer from the shelving and then I'm just going over in a clear coat of spray just to protect all the paint. Then I'm done. I really love how it turned out. The sunflowers and the mushrooms look really really good. Um, it definitely makes my shelving look so much prettier. I also signed my name as well. I really hope you like this video. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.